Hey, GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team in the Fox Inn. And today we have a video that we're gonna be talking about a solution for you. We get a lot of questions about our cameras, if they're wireless, how can I access them wirelessly? Do I have to run these long ethernet cables? Cause a lot of our Adamo cameras and other uh, models are all IP based. So you need to run a uh, ethernet cable and sometimes long cat six cables are not ideal and uh, setting up your cables in a building or in your like church or any sort of facility running cables is not that fun um, but today since we have a partnership with Netgear in our cameras we have the perfect solution for you <laughs> We have a solution for you. This is the Netgear Powerline 1000 Ethernet Extender. This is a really cool unit and it works well with our cameras. Uh, so what this does, you can have multiple of these units, plug the first one into your router and provide the internet through the ethernet port and it's kind of like an uplink. And then the, actually the ethernet runs through the electrical wiring in your building or in your house, whatever it may be. And then you just plug this into any outlet on your wall, take it, take an ethernet out of uh, the port here and go into your camera and you provides the network connectivity to that camera obviously this removes the poe so obviously you have to run power next to the camera but considering you don't have to run 100 200 300 foot cable uh, cat 6 cables it's a great solution and so today for a uh, simple setup we have two of our ndi cameras because this is a great solution for um, bringing in an ndi feed or even a dante feed because uh, we have those different models of cameras or even an rtsp stream uh, that way you don't have to run any any wires besides the one coming out of here for today for a simple setup we have two of our ndi cameras and not even in this room we have one in our front lobby and one in another office and i have it already networked so i'm going to go ahead and jump in and just control the ndi feeds from my computer we have plenty of videos on how to network your cameras ndi is already enabled um, so i'm actually using ndi from ndi tools from new tech just to access uh, the cameras as you can see i have camera one and camera two so i'm going to actually go see camera one is in one of our office buildings here and it just point at a beautiful bush there here we go but i'm controlling it from all the way over here simply just with the ndi feed what's great about ndi is that you can control it ndi feed allows for video audio and control and you can see, obviously, this is not your normal setup. I'm sure you're not just gonna um, film a tree, but just showing you that I'm accessing it pretty, it's really smooth. And this is this is mainly for an HD setup. We're using our just our Adamo Junior cameras. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to our first, our second camera, NDI, in our lobby. And there you go. Zoom in, uh, zoom out, obviously. If you need to use like auto tracking, you could do that as well. I'm just showing you how I'm controlling this through the electrical circuits, network, everything, power line, 1000, Adamo Juniors. It's a, it's a really cool setup. So that's just simply how easy it is um, to make your cameras now technically wireless. So we got rid of cables. So as long as your electrical wiring in your building is all connected, um, unless you're like kind of a weird building where it's all over the place, it should just, all you have to do is just plug in and these know, it'll search for that uplink from the one that's connected to the router so it's all on the same network so really easy setup of course if you have any questions about this uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below or hit us up at support as well as any of our sales associates as always don't forget to like and subscribe to bzb tv so you'll be notified when more of these videos come out and as always have a great day